<laughs> all right, that's what it's all about in this sport. Here's Tony Gwynn, who's called out on strikes his first time up. Riding the Giants with a 2-0 lead. Gwynn hits the ball in the air to right center field, and he hits it deep. And that ball's way back there. It's off the wall. Davis had a chance at that ball, I thought. And I'm not sure he didn't. I think that ball went off his glove, Bonnie. I'm, yeah. I'm really surprised he didn't catch it because he was in good position. He had time. The ball was hit high. He had time to get to the wall. We're going to look at it. But Gwynn hits it high and deep to right center field. And Chili Davis, you can see he's in position right now. The ball hit his glove, went off his glove. Just took his eye off the ball, looking at the fence. So the tying runners are on second and third and nobody down and Rupert Jones. Padres win four in a row for the first time this season. More than 47,500 fans at Dodger Stadium. And here in the fifth, base hit by Tony Gwynn. Just called up from Las Vegas after nursing a broken wrist all season. Gwynn then makes an alert move. He successfully steals second. Tim Lawler did more than his share tonight. He belts a sacrifice to deep center field, allowing Gwynn to race home with what proves to be the winning run. And it's... Hard shot, first base side. He hung a curve, and Tony got all of it. He's looking over to third base. They're waving him on. He's going to try for it. Backman, and Gwynn has himself a triple with one down here in the first inning. And there's a big play, getting from second to third with only one down. One man out in the top half of the first inning. This is the first of a three-game series. In the center field, that drops for a base hit. So Tony Gwynn becomes the first base runner of the evening. Williams at third. Two balls and no strikes. Gwynn, 25 years old. National League batting champ back in 84. A long one into center field. And on the run is McGee. It's off the wall at the 405 mark. A double. Gwynn ripped it to the deepest part of the ballpark. This fella has a lifetime 325 batting average. And you could see McGee just couldn't get there. It hit right at the base of the wall at the 405 spot. Ripped down the right field line, base hit. Strawberry gets to it, but Gwynn's going to have a double, and Jefferson scores. It's now a 3 to 2 ball game. Against the ten most likely to strike you out. Line drive, base hit into left field. In comes Roberts. It's one nothing San Diego. And that beautiful swing, Gerald's trying to get one over on the outside corner of the plate, and Gwynn just moving with it perfectly. 56, 367, I should say. And Rogers Hornsby, we got him at 358. Yep. Shula Joe Jackson, 356. Actually, fifth because Lefty O'Doul is in there with a 347 lifetime average. So Wade Boggs is fifth in Major Those League in history fifth among fifth players fifth. with 2,500 career at best. So Tony Gwynn sings a 2 to 1 Expos lead. Here's the top of that magical fifth inning, though. As the base hit, field at double play depth. I knew they weren't going to get him out all day. Base hit for Gwen and San Diego has their first two runners on here in the sixth. Let's get close. 
Frank Castillo now works with Tony Gwynn and he shoots one into left field for a base hit. So Gwynn continues his hot hitting but one for four in the night. Really never found a dominant left hander since Howe back in the early 80s. Tony Gwynn leads off and greets him with a base hit on the first pitch, the third hit of the night for Gwynn. Tony is three out of four. Another base hit for Mr. Gwynn. So the Padres have the leadoff man aboard against Valdez. Like he did last year. Well, his career high in homers is 14. He already has 13. Hits this one a long way to left center field. Going to be a long run for Jose Cruz Jr. It's off his glove. Barris will come around to score. Gwynn is at second base with a double, and the Padres have tied it. Tim Crabtree as well. He went one third of an inning. Gave up one run on one hit. This is back up the middle, and it is through for a base hit, and Tony Gwynn will not have consecutive hitless game ball. Three and one? No. Fastball, and Tony Gwynn, he's 71 hits away. Sanders easily scores. It's tied up. Some things just never change. You're right, and that's why he doesn't need to hit triples, because he knows he can hit three and one, three and oh, he can hit at any time. And, but... Your point is brought up again is why he wouldn't maybe throw a curveball or something to Tony Gwynn, but I know that he doesn't have the same confidence in his breaking ball as he had before. I mean, that's just the Tony Gwynn swing. Beautiful level swing right back through the middle for a base hit. Six and a half. Still among the nastiest relievers in all the game. 3-1 to Gwynn. Runners go and a line drive center field. San Diego has taken the lead. Bottom seven, still a 1 1 game. It's Tony Gwynn, pitch hitting. He's been great at that this year. Ben Davis comes in, runner to third. Gwynn tying the game at eight. Next man up, Damian Jackson.